was talking to Mr. Fairbanks during the break. He was telling me, in your childhood, you remember glimpses of people like the Fitzgeralds and, yeah. and uh, you know Hemingway and all of them. Just too much. Oh, gosh. Yeah. As a schoolboy. Well, as I say, having been uh, not brought up, but dragged up in different parts of the world, mm -hmm. uh, you, somehow or other, you find that you have met an awful lot of different kinds of people in different places. And I remember uh, Fitzgerald when I was a schoolboy in Paris. I'd gone to school in Paris for a bit, and, I, and Hemingway and, and Bromfield. And, but I was very young. I was just aware that they were famous authors, and I remember seeing them in an older crowd around, and I was just a respectful schoolboy, goggle-eyed, looking for an autograph. And then at different times, uh, so happened one of my godmothers was a niece of J.M. Barry who wrote Peter Pan and the thrill of meeting the man who wrote Peter Pan. A lot of things like that at various way. times, you know. Uh, you must wish at times you could remember everything they said. If you had thought, if I were just, had just been a little older and had maybe kept a diary of some of yeah. these meetings because you had all the... Of course, I'm the kind of fellow to tell a story. If, I, if they didn't say anything, I'll invent it. It's like any kind of reminiscence, you know. I keep getting better and better. And I'll... Would you invent something for Janice about Fitzgerald? <laughs> yes, I will. Oh. Uh, what are... Are you glad that, in any sense, that the glamour of Hollywood is passing some? Do you think it's healthier? There isn't, although Raquel is fresh from this almost old fashioned. I was just going to say, I wonder if it, uh, uh, this is a, uh, not a very accurate thing to say in the presence not. of Raquel, because it shows that it still does exist. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, just, obviously, it doesn't. No, I think it's just a, 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 another phase, a, a difference in the way that people are either developed or exploited, advertised and, and, and promoted. In the older days, the, the companies had their contract stars, and it was part of the machinery of the company to, to promote their particular product, and the stars were one of the products. Nowadays, with so many independent productions, the stars get tend to be largely promoted by themselves, by their, by their own force of personality, and less stimulated artificially. I think um, that's true. I think the kids, I think the mm. kids are, well, are kids, the audience, the people, I think they want uh, natural, real, honest, mm. Mm. guts, feeling. They don't want to tinsel, I don't, I don't think. Mm. And you know, that's why, like Dennis Hopper, goods, that's too, why yeah. Dennis Hopper's so big. Dennis yeah. Hopper ain't no phony, man. Yeah. You know, Dennis Hopper's, you know, down. Mm. Unless all this he does is an act and underneath it. I don't know. Uh, I've read some of the things he said, and he's been there. It'd be hard to do that act. He's, he's yeah. been there. But don't you think that uh, when they did the Life magazine cover on him, I've watched, I've, I've seen Dennis Hopper since I was a, still in school as an actor, and every time I've ever seen him, even if he hasn't a line to say, he's been brilliant because you riveted to him. And when they start writing articles about him now, they don't concentrate on his talent, which is incredible. They concentrate on his lifestyle. And I think that there's something sick about that. I really do. That's a good point. I think, you know, <clears throat> he's because in danger really, now. I mean, he lives a very bizarre existence by uh, normal standards, I, I think. think. people are interested. I mean, they, they can be aware of his, of his talent by watching his movies. Yes, but, but they're interested in his lifestyle just because they like his yeah, movies. Yeah, I understand that, but I don't think that people should let that eclipse what he does in his work because oh. he's very brilliant. I, I think they still go to the movies. Oh, yes, I know that. He delivers the goods. I they think don't just buy life Oh, yes, sir. Whatever it takes. Things are very exciting to, to yes, read. Yes, that's true, but I, don't necessarily mean I still feel that it's wrong. I still feel that, that he's got more to offer than uh, mm. just his lifestyle. There's something to well, that. You know, that happened to Orson Welles, in, in a sense. He became the event yeah. more than his work. And he, he used to complain at some point. I remember he did. He said, uh, maybe he said that when he was here that night, that when they review his films, they review spend the first few paragraphs talking about the phenomenon of Orson Welles. Yeah. Yeah. And then his work seems to get put behind that. And there's a danger of, of publicity making you get up in front of your work in the way that you block it. The only reason they're interested in this Hopper is because Easy Rider is such a great movie. Yeah. And the only reason they're about that life piece, life piece is because uh, of the interest in the next movie. Yeah. It's, his, it's his work that's, that's drawing the attention to it. Well, I, I realize that. I just don't think they write about it. You know, all I... Well, nobody's seen the movie yet. No. But, uh, I mean, I, I... I'm going to stick up for both of you. <laughs> we will be back after a message from our local stations. No, no, no.